Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, in the mighty name of Jesus, I welcome you all to this Word of God ministry, Thunder of God. Hallelujah. 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 See, in our, in my priestly life, for years and years, it is my deep conviction that. when we do the praise and worship there is a new intervention of god every now and then i feel tired sometime i may not be in a good disposition to pray sometime i may not be able to pray rosary sometime i may not be able to read word of god sometime i i may be covered with a We have, uh, we have dark experiences but when i do praise and worship everything is gone just like wax melts before the fire all all hindrances all blocks were taken away from me and i have, i want i am anointed with a new anointing Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am sure you all will get this experience. Now let us worship together. Please stand up. Let us together pray and worship our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With a joyful heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With a joyful heart. Hallelujah. Let us worship Praise our Jesus. Lord. Thank Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Fire anointing, mighty anointing, falling to me. Glory, glory, glory. Fire anointing, mighty anointing, falling to me. Anointing on your apostles, fill me, Holy Spirit. Baptize me with your holy fire, your holy fire. Hallelujah 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Today, let us think about sins of our mouth. Sin which comes through our words. Especially, when we speak about God, there comes very grave sin which brings great disaster to our lives. But we are not at all aware of that. I, I happen to come across with so many people, they have no fear to speak ill words about God. Some of them said to me, who knows, there may be God, and there may not be God. I don't care. I, I, care. I, I, I want to do my own projects, my own uh, interests. I, I never care God. I don't want God. Maybe there, there may be God. Okay, you keep it with, me, with you. I don't need God. There are such people on this earth. So when I sat before the Lord, Holy Spirit gave me certain insights from the Holy, Spirit, Holy Bible. Dear brothers and sisters, can we speak anything as it comes against God? Word of God says, it will bring great disasters. Great disasters. Book of Job, chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. There was a, once a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. That man was blameless and upright, one who feared God and turned away from evil. There were born to him seven sons and three daughters. Yes. He had seven thousand sheep. Seven thousand sheep. Yes. Three thousand camels. Three thousand camels. Five hundred yoke of oxen. Five hundred oxen. Yes. Five hundred donkeys. Yes. And very many servants. Very many. A very rich man. Yes. So that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. He was the richest man in the East. So much of wealth, so much of power, so much of fame and name. He was blessed with everything from heaven. He was happy with the God. His wife was happy with the God. Children, all, everybody, all of them were very, very happy with their God. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But suddenly, things got upside down. Satan intervened. And there happened unthinkable misfortunes. Job lost everything. In the book of Job chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, there we see he lost his sons, he lost his daughters, he lost his wealth, everything, everything he lost. And at last, he was sick. He was suffering like anything. He was 
totally he was in distress in pain in agony from head to toe he was tear he was filled, he was filled with the pain book of job chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 job took a potsherd with which to scrape himself yes. and sat down among the ashes then his wife said to him do you still persist in your integrity curse god and die yes this is a temptation in the book of job chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 in good news version we read like this job went and sat by the rubbish heap and took a piece of broken pottery to scrap his sores to scrap his sores with a broken pot- pottery he scraped his sores day and night 24 hours in pain he lost everything his mind was undergoing great agony during that time his wife what was her words verse 9 his wife said to him you are still as faithful as ever aren't you why don't you curse your god and die why don't you curse your god and die see in utter desolation in great pain in bitter bitter experiences there are such families there are men and women who do like this abandoning god speaking kalum speaking wild language against god speaking against god it is a sin it is a sin book of job chapter 2 verse 10 book of job chapter 2 verse 10 but what did job do but he said to her you speak as any foolish woman would speak shall we receive the good at the hand of god and not receive the bad in all this job did not sin with his lips in all this job did not sin with his lips the greatest sin which we can do with our lips is to speak against god to speak rubbish language against god what do you think can we speak anything against god as it comes it will have its own consequences hallelujah 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 one day i happened to come across with a family what was their problem see they were very good practicing catholics in that parish but now they are not coming to the parish they are not coming to the church services they totally separated from the sacraments prayers they never participated in any church services then i inquired what is your problem then they said for years and years they didn't have ch- children so they prayed at last they got a child by grace of god they brought him up and at the age of 23 oh i think so and they either 23 or 25 accidentally that son that boy that guy died they were they were in great sorrow in that sorrow satan intervened and tempted them to speak against god in their bitter sorrow they spoke uh, many things against god as it came afterwards they were all they were in a, in a great bondage they can't love god they can't pray to god their heart was closed they can't experience god 
they were in bondage for years and years they were cut off from divine divine presence they can't participate in church services then i prayed before god lord lord what we what, what what is what is your 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 teaching about these things then book of job chapter 15 book of job chapter 15 25 and 26 holy spirit brought me a passage book of job chapter 15 25 and 26 because they stretched out their hands against god and bid defiance to the almighty running stubbornly against him yes running stubbornly against him. that was the spiritual spiritual state of that family members they were stubbornly going against god speaking against god why did god do, did uh, why did god do like this dear brothers and sisters if we go like this the word of god continues book of job chapter 15 28 to 30 they will live in desolate cities in houses that no one should inhabit houses destined to become heaps of ruins heaps of ruin see it will bring disasters to our family it will bring disasters to our company it will bring disasters to our life it will become heaps of ruin then they will not be rich and their wealth will not endure nor will they strike root in the earth they will not escape from darkness the flame will dry up their shoots and their blossom will be swept away by the wind unthinkable destruction many we can't imagine what else things would happen upon them so pray for a god fearing heart word of god forbids to speak vile language to speak against god again book of malachi chapter 3 verses 13 to 15 another kind of bad words against god malachi 3 13 to 15 you have spoken harsh words against me yes harsh words harsh words against god terrible things against god rubbish things rubbish language against god it will not end simply it will bring disasters so lord himself intervened with those who were there and lord was speaking to them you have said terrible things about, about me says the lord then they asked what did we spoke what did we speak Yes the lord continued yet you say how have we spoken against you you have said it is vain to serve the lord what do we profit by keeping his command or by going about as mourners before the lord of hosts now we count the arrogant happy evil doers not only prosper but when they put god to the test they escape Hallelujah. 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 Here they were not speaking bad languages. Out of their out of their uh, anxiety seeing things uh, the, those who are not uh, uh, fearing God they are getting prospered and those who are uh, serving God they are uh, undergoing many many troubles. So naturally they spoke each other why good people are suffering but those who don't have god they have no, no problem like that they began to speak each other then lord intervened and said your words are terrible your words are terrible 
you have said terrible things about me against me you have said terrible things against me about me see take care not to sin with the lips hallelujah 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 book of ezekiel chapter 29 verse 9 and 10 there are another kind of bad words against god another type of sin book of ezekiel 29 verses 9 and 10 and the land of egypt shall be a desolation and a waste then they shall know that i am the lord because you said the nile is mine and i made it yes taking all credit to ourselves all these things are my contribution it is i who did all these things when i came here it, there was nothing but i did i made i acquired i i made hard work and uh, then i did all these things like that if we, if we speak that is a sin that is a sin yes nile is mine and i made it egypt said then lord cleared his stand verse 10 therefore therefore i am against you and against your channels and i will make the land of egypt an utter waste and desolation yes i will make you an utter waste and desolation now you may be a prosperous land you your family may be a prosperous family you may be enjoying good health you may be enjoying good fame and name you may be enjoying good things but i am against you and i will make you an utter waste and desolation desolation hallelujah hallelujah that much grave is this sin Hallelujah. 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 Now let us stand and let us pray for a God-fearing heart. We need a God-fearing heart. We have we need a training to speak with a docile mind about God. Always and everywhere we have to keep a limit when we speak, especially about the divine things. especially about word of god especially about heaven especially about heavenly things we have to keep a god fearing heart hallelujah hallelujah now let us pray close your eyes raise up your hands and let us pray to holy spirit o oh holy spirit give me a new heart give me a new heart o holy spirit Hallelujah 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 glory 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 hold me hallelujah hallelujah fill me and use me melt me mold me chapter 3 verse 6 what is born of flesh is flesh what is born of spirit is spirit the words also will be according to it praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord, lord. Tantumargo 
Sacramento When I read my documento No water to Praise the feed is supplemento Sansum de victory Genitori, genitorque, laus jubilatio, salus honor vertus corque, seated benedictio, rostenti abutroque, composit lord adsio. Now let us accept Jesus as our Redeemer. When we accept Jesus in our heart as Redeemer, there is the mighty intervention of God. There will be. So as far as possible, as we can, call the name Jesus and accept him as uh, as redeemer of our personal life Jesus you took away all of our sins and you died on cross for me and by your that I am redeemed I believe that I accept you as my savior hallelujah Jesus lamb of God worthy is your Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God. God, worthy is your name, Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Blessed be God, blessed, blessed be, be his, his holy name, name. Blessed, blessed be Jesus Christ, Christ true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy, blessed be her holy and immaculate conception, blessed be her glorious assumption, blessed be in the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother, blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. 